Hello and welcome back to the Technomancer. Hi Zach, how are you? Hello Amelia. Alright, so you got everything you need now to get your rover ready for the ice, yeah? Only thing I need left is some time. A day should do it. Want me to get started now? Yep. No reason to wait. Gotta be ready as soon as possible. Now, thankfully we're close enough to uh, a rest stop that I can actually go and rest. But I want to talk to this trader first, because I want to sell a whole bunch of stuff. You know, no point hanging on to stuff I cannot use, so sell that. Sell that. The Aurora Master's gloves are good, but they're nothing on my Grandmaster's gloves. Do I need the exploding traps? Uh, I still don't use them, so... Get rid of them. And that kind of stuff. You never know when you're going to need components. So. Good. Sell all the extraneous crap. And then go and have a snooze for 12 hours. Let her work. I appreciate I could have made this act a lot longer if I'd actually bothered doing any of the side quests, but... Uh. Yeah, rest until dawn. Might have been nice if, you know, to have some company, Nisha. Secondary elements, some secondary elements will become available. Yep. Loose translation, if you head for the pole, you can't finish any side quests you've got left. Which is fair enough, because I think... Yep. Everything good to go there. Kratz Beggars, which I was never going to finish anyway. The Arena Champion. And I can't be bothered to do that. Probably should, but... Uh, yeah, the party management bit in here is over there now, which is... Why not leave it right next to uh, the rover so that you can do it just before you leave? That would make sense to me. Ah, <sighs> dear, dear, dear. I say, lots of small, niggly little things in this game. You know, they haven't taken away from my overall, you know, from overall liking it, but it, it I'll, I'll admit it's going to give me talking points, you know, in the review, which is not, you know, not a bad thing. Amelia, you're coming with me. So we've got Nisha, got Amelia, and we're ready to roll. Head to the pole. And hopefully contact Earth. Possibly. That's why we're going. I don't know if we'll actually succeed. So as I say, it's going to be interesting to see if the cold weather gear actually changes the appearance of our stuff. Because they basically said it would go effectively directly over our armor. Which is good, because it does mean you get to keep all the you know, crafting modifications you've made to your armor. The Ice Dome. We're here. We're finally here. I hope the beacon of this lost city actually works. For fuck's sake, it's better. Walking to the pole would be a pain in the ass. Our rover mods have made my baby more sluggish than... Well, me after a few drinks. I can tell you that we aren't the first to go down this path. Ah, oh, marvelous. Is the ASC? Probably. I'm not sure, but I can make out tracks. Some of which look older than you. Ah, uh, this brings back memories. What else is fucking new? Hmm. Oh, I, I've been down that road before. 
Yeah, I'm 50, 90, 100% sure. It's with your father. Hmm. And you couldn't say that earlier? Oh, his memory's buggered. I, I wasn't familiar with the road. I'm sorry. I just didn't realize that this was the city that we... All right, settle down, you two. Let's not dwell on the past. We can do that later, when it's warm. But Scott, if you've been here before, your memories could be useful. I wonder if Victor's beat us to the punch. If he did... He wouldn't destroy it. He couldn't. He's an egomaniac. He'd just want credit for being the first to turn it. Now, what worries me is what happens if he discovers our secret. Either way, it's time to end this. Time for a little payback. Mancer style. Yep. Zach, I'm nervous. Whatever we discover could change our lives and everyone's on Mars. Do we really want to contact a planet that has never As I, I do want to know why the hell Earth's basically abandoned them up here. Someone else will. And they might have less than pure intentions. True. Better us than someone like Victor. But still, it's such a precarious responsibility. <laughs> That it is. So yeah, we've finished chapter three. So let's go. So that tells me this one isn't going to be hideously long. That's a guess, but... Uh You know, this feels like a sort of conclusion Gilbert rather probably than belongs to the ASC. Bridge collapsed behind them. But Victor couldn't have gone too far. Better keep my guard up. We got local critters. And they look nasty. But not that nasty. Yeah, they went down all right. From old Earth that mutated here, shut away for so long. Be careful, Amelia. The city is hiding much more than just treasure. Hey, hey got the burglar achievement. I'm assuming that's for lock picking X number of crates. The hell? Thought that was coming from the headphones for a second. Sorry, you probably didn't hear that, but outside a car horn just went dee 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 dee. And for just a half a second, I thought it was coming out of uh, the headphones, which kind of confused the hell out of me. We keep punching them in the urethra, and they keep coming back for more. Why would you punch someone in the urethra? His men will hunt like wolves. Now that sounds like a plan to me. Boing. Dude, you, you really should pay attention when one of your colleagues is getting their ass handed to them right in front of you. I mean, doing anything else is just rude. Dude, you can try to reload your uh, weapon, but it ain't gonna help you terribly much. Go up and around, I think. Yes. Yeah, this feels like an end run to me. Which honestly would be kind of useful for me if this game. You know, you know, if, if it took me. Well, I've got 30 parts already. Yeah, that's what I finished. I recorded up to the end of part 30 yesterday, so... This game ran to somewhere in the region of 35 parts, would actually be kind of useful for me, purely from a, you know, having time to do stuff point of view. You know, because I'm going to have no time at all tomorrow, because tomorrow's the day of the actual funeral. Uh, so I'm going to be fairly busy tomorrow, and that way, if I had... Zachariah Manson. Hello, Victor. I was wondering if you'd make it this far. But I must admit you're particularly sharp. For a mutant. So you know you then. Too late. 
I've already discovered the dark secret that your kind has hidden for so long. However, this city... Amazing, isn't it? So You're gonna run away like a bitch, aren't you? A complex of keys to a brand new world. That doesn't matter. You're not gonna live to see it. Really? Do you intend to kill me? Like that poor boy... I didn't kill him. You won't get the opportunity, I'm afraid. My men are a little bit on edge after what you did to their comrade. Now, if you would be so kind, I'm going to pry that last secret out of the belly of this city. The one that will give me a hero's welcome back at abundance. Ah, dear. Help me impose He's flipped, a new he? world order. Farewell, Zachariah. Chin up. Thanks to your hard work, abundance will now have a bigger, brighter future. Yeah, I'm gonna shove this stick so far up your ass. That you will be coughing out splinters. That doesn't make sense because this stick's made of metal. That would have made more sense if I was talking about my quarter staff because that's made of wood. That the best you got, Vicky? You actually gonna fight Sorry me this time? You, but I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I have to admit, even after everything, you are still. Of course, he kind of run away words. again. Such tenacity. Your efforts are futile. Don't you understand? If not me, someone else is bound to reveal Gee. your secret. So why not use this revelation as an opportunity, as a chance to promote the corporation that raised you? Bugger off. You're the one who doesn't realize he's playing with fire, and that even tyrants can burn. We shall see. Come on. That attack's quite useful because I don't know that it can be interrupted. Nope. Right, damn it. Screw it in the wrong bloody direction. Utilize his defenses. Okay. Dude, come the hell back here so I can kill you. He keeps trying to break off from the fight. And down you go. Final fuckingly. I guess his heart knew he was one evil blood sucking motherfucker. Victor's gun and Victor's dagger. Ironic, to say the least. Hey Nisha, you want these? Tell me that's your stomach. Afraid not, but whatever it is, it sounds big and angry. It's you quite spiffy, sir. And I'll put some mods on those so that they'll be uh, superior because there is a t crafting table up there. Ah, dum -de -dum -de -dum. Actually, I better. Uh... Yeah, there's some sort of giant monster up here, isn't there? You can see it coming. Just take upgrade it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the upgrade plans for superior daggers. But I can get you the ooh, level 3 crit. Yeah, that feels reasonable. And... Another level 3 crit. Yeah, let's go with level 3 crit. And I can't get level 4 damage, because I never bothered getting the upgrade plan, so let's just go for level 3 damage. Lovely. So she's now got a what, 50, 50 odd uh, percent chance of crit. So 
Yes, there's going to be some sort of giant monster along here, isn't there? You know, since we've taken out uh, the boss, who, you know, as I said, went down like a bitch. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> You are one ugly son of a bitch. Well, at least it felt that. God, where the hell is my backup, guys? I, yep. Okay, when it comes in. Oh, Let's try not to get poisoned. Ah, damn it, I went straight into the thing of poison. Reduce his defenses. Get a good. Damn it. Wasted the bleeding twirl attack. Get it. Oh, potion. I could probably use up one of those uh, mana potions as well, because why the hell not? Oh, potion. This guy's not that tough. Oh, the fact I can't hit that bit of him. Seriously, guys, I appreciate it's a giant monster, but really, you could at least be, I don't know, shooting it? Damn it. Bloody critter moves on too fast for me to uh, hit it with. Anything properly hard. Ow. Pressure shield. Here it comes. Okay. It did not like that. Oh, I like the fire roll. Come on! Okay, that did some damage. Here it comes from the side again. Damn it. Break off now. Okay. You think it'd learn that some of these attacks just don't work? Probably the guy would learn the same thing, but apparently not. Okay. Come on. When the hell did I run out of health stims? I'm about to die. Could have sworn I had a hell of a lot more health stims than that. Okay. I think I might just have beaten it by pure blind luck. I pushed that button right before uh, the end of that fight. Uh, craft some health stims. <laughs> you know, pretty much immediately. Let's you control the direction you move better during the tornado attack. Yep, I will have that. And I will have another point in constitution, please. And then we'll go straight into there. And I can't craft them on the fly. Oh well. I think Surely that was it. Here. This place is breathtaking. The ice has preserved it well. 
still want to know what the hell happened to my backup. Activate it. Yep. Looks familiar. Connection to Earth in progress. Connection failed. Damn it. Extrapolating the complete data. Organic solar system display. Earth is gone. Oh, holy crap. Earth is gone. All these years wasted dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars. The hell do you even destroy a planet? Devastated. What am I gonna tell them? You tell them the truth. Don't reveal the destruction of Earth and become the great master of the abundance technomancers. Okay, so. What do you think, Nisha? I think it's our responsibility to tell the world that there's nothing to expect from the outside. But we have to do it gently. Yeah, Otherwise, I think I concur. we'll be looking at a worldwide revolution. And if you reveal your true colors to abundance, it won't accept you for who you are. But you know you'll always be welcome at Noctis. Whatever happens, your support could shift the balance of power on Mars. And what better city to pick than Noctis, the one place that accepts all walks of life, human or mutant. Reasonable. Alright. We reveal the destruction of Earth. And we join... So yeah, we basically either keep all of the secrets, we keep some of the secrets, or we reveal all of the secrets. The world does not need to know that Technomancers are mutants, so... I will reveal what we've learned in Octus. Corporations will feel the blow, but at least for the first time, people will be allowed to choose their futures. Hmm. And we can finally hope that a city like Noctis, that welcomes mutants and humans alike, will no longer be an anomaly, but someday become the norm. Come, it's time to go. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Mancer who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. Yep. So what happened? By delivering Bulgakov to the ASC, I had not only cut off the lifeblood of the opposition, but I had given away all their secrets, giving strength to my one true enemy. Mm. I remember letting poor Dave go, understanding he only betrayed me to protect his family. Meanwhile, a more dangerous spy was hiding in my shadow. Despite everything Jeffrey did to me, I couldn't let Nisha shoot him down like a dog. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always going to discredit me. Well, we knew that. Yet my decisions of friends, alliances, would greatly influence the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions. Through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. Yep. Later... I agreed to help Dandolo chase the Vori out of Noctis, for good. Cutting them off at the bridgehead they hoped to use to infiltrate every settlement on Mars. And that was definitely the right call. because of that, Anton came close to paying the ultimate price when his men picked him as the scapegoat. But he's not a man you get rid of that easily. By becoming the great master of Technomancers, I've earned their unwavering loyalty. But I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility as it should Since be. Since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the order is powerful again, our future bright. Scum keeps the young mutant nation alive, but its existence is fragile. His wisdom and visions of peace have avoided violence on many occasions, but when he has had to fight, Mutant Valley has been left barely standing. Mm. Nisha still runs missions for Dandolo, I can tell her heart's not in it. 
I think she's beginning to see that her father figure, as charming and caring as he may appear to be, is really a master manipulator that won't hesitate to make less than ethical choices to serve the best interests of his city. I don't mind. Obviously. It gives me more time to spend with warm, loving, beautiful, real Nisha. And less time with cold, calculating, and, okay, still beautiful, super spy Nisha. <laughs> and she's finally starting to sing again. And I dabble in harmony. The army's role in taking down Victor allowed it to regain its honorable post as the protector of abundance. The generals have powerful representatives at the assembly again. Then even if the corporation has lost some luster and prestige after the colonel's reign, at least it can properly defend itself. Dandolo made the most of our alliance, as you would expect. Noctis is now ubiquitous. Its merchants have obtained the right to citizenship in Ophir, and are free to come and go from the exchange as they please. Everything else was dwarfed by my choice to reveal the Earth's destruction. Rumors traveled faster than Rover, and when so what I showed the hell proof, happened to panic Earth, and I chaos wonder. spread like a plague. Riots broke out. Civil wars erupted. The bubble had burst. The common people, realizing that no savants from Earth would come down to help them, finally began demanding war from their leaders. But Abundance and the other corporations are still here. Their power now grown beyond simple religious manipulations. Mm. My new home, Noctis, has boomed. More newcomers arrive every day, and we welcome them with open arms. Dandolo says it's time to consider expansion. What sort I don't of expansion? Know what the and I can't help but feel guilty at times for the lives lost after I revealed the truth. But I'm happy to see the people of Mars forging ahead, seeking to build a future here on the Red Planet. Our planet. Hmm. So, what the hell happened to Earth, I wonder? So, yes, that was. Oh, oh stretch. So, yes, that was the Technomancer, and. Yeah, a lot fewer parts this week. To the... Yeah. So yes, if I'd known that there was this little left, I'd have, uh, you know, only uploaded... I don't know, 20 parts last week? You know, and, uh, done the rest this week, but oh well. I mean, technically I still could change that, but I mean, messing around with stuff. Anyway, look, it doesn't matter. So you get fewer parts this week. But yeah, as I say, that's, that's kind of convenient for me. Because that means I now have tomorrow for the funeral. And then Thursday to get... Or Thursday and Friday to get the Wasteland 2 review done. So that that is actually helpful for me. So yes, that was the Technomancer. And honestly, I enjoyed it overall. It's certainly got problems. Um, but again, it was better than Bound by Flame. You know, so it feels that they are learning, which is the important point. You know, I maintain there is a fantastic RPG in Spider's Future, and they are they're getting better every time. So yeah. But either way, I'll I'll you know write up all my thoughts and all that stuff and uh, the review will be out well, the, the Friday that you see this video. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will leave you with the end credits. And there may well be a post credit scene or something like that, so... Yeah. You don't have to watch all the end credits, but I will record the whole lot. You know, so if you want to just skip to the end to see if there was a post credit scene, do feel free. So, until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in future series.